on a night when shots were fired. What makes this guy tick? Money. No. <laughs> David's a generous guy. He really is. And he's lost a lot of money over the years playing golf, so uh, he's very good about paying off his bets. The biggest ones had already been made by the philanthropy of super agent David Falk. Falk was roasted by several of his close personal friends from the sports world to benefit the Jubilee Foundation's major fundraiser. Well, uh, first of all, it's wonderful to be able to be in a position to do something positive for, for the people that are going to be the recipients of the, of the money that we raised tonight. I hope we raise a ton of money. Uh, the Jubilee Foundation does great work, and when you're in a position to help other people, that's the greatest gift of all. This helps to fund our our housing programs and work with the autistic people and, and others who have developmental disabilities. And so this is our single most important uh, way to fund these things. A lot of our funding comes from the state of Maryland, so there's political support for what we do, but this really helps us be that much better. You know, we talk about shoot for the stars and being the best is really important to us, and this is what allows us to do to be the best. So, I mean, we have a packed house. I've been trying to hide out here in the corner because you really can't move, so it's been tremendous. I mean, last year I think we had maybe 400 people, now we have 561 at last count. So we've sold out, and it's just been fantastic. Falk was known for his tenacity and how relentless he was as a negotiator. Those traits, which made him success in sports, are helping him succeed with his charity work. I think it's important anytime when you have an organization like this to show the strength by having a name like David Falk coming to support it. With the grind of being a full-time agent behind him, David can now focus on his philanthropic efforts. For 14 years, he hosted a leukemia telethon here in the nation's capital, and the tenacity that he brought to that event was what he brought to Jubilee Foundation when he went all in to help them. Fortunately, you get in a position where you can help once in a while, and David never puts a lot of pressure on any of his friends to say, you got to help me here, you got to do this. So when he called and asked me if I, if I would be a part of this tonight, I knew it was important to David, and that's basically why I'm here. Actually, have followed him as he's like all the philanthropy that he's done. This I know is one of the newer things. I think it's fantastic that it's local. I mean, they've been here, my mom and dad, since 1974. So, you know, he's helped a lot of organizations on larger scales, national scales. He's helped um, college you know, institutions and other communities. I think it's wonderful that he's actually doing something here where I grew up and where we've lived for a long time. But David has a heart of gold. Um, I, you know, I know him both as a friend and I know him through his philanthropy. And it's just an honor to be here tonight. It's an honor to get up and speak uh, for such a great cause on behalf of David. Uh, he's an extraordinary man. He refuses to actually settle for something, anything less than his client is worth. And that comes, that comes from to Michael Jordan to the Jubilee Foundation. Legend has it that one time Falk client Michael Jordan said that Falk was the quote pain in the ass, but he was the kind of guy you wanted on your team, end quote. And after making professional athletes multi-millionaires many times over, Falk is now hoping to do the same thing with his charity work. And on this night, the beneficiary is the Jubilee Foundation of Maryland. For Sports Groove TV in Bethesda, I'm Mark Gray.